Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Sauce. Give me a tip. Selfie had to make a mad dash. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> What's up, sippers? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button and that bell to be notified of all our videos. I am your girl Stas. I'm here with Tip and Cell B, and today we are trying a white wine called Monograph by Gaia. It's a Greek wine, so I'm excited to taste this wine here. So let's just give it a try. Okay. So. That's different. Wow, so I see what they mean. Because right away in the notes, you have a sea spray and uh -huh. a lime taste, so. That tastes pear. And yellow apple is mm -hmm. the other note. Mm -hmm. So that sea spray is interesting because in Santorini, where this grape is from, mm. it's all covered by the shore, like a lot of greases, so it's always gonna get hit with that sea water. Definitely taste that. And the type of grape that they do use is Asiertico, which mm -hmm. is native to Santorini. Also with the name Gaia, it's um from within Greek mythology that gave birth to the Titans. Mm -hmm. So it's not only just a name, it has some backstory too. And this was $17.99, 12.5%. A little up there in price, but also up there in percentage. So And it's coming directly from Santorini. Yeah. Hey. This pairs with some seafood and light fare. For those who don't know, because I didn't, it's just like light <laughs> snacks. <laughs> Thanks for the definition. <laughs> <laughs> As I stated before, the name Gaia is from Greek mythology. I thought I'd give you a brief um, little history mm -hmm. on her and where that came from. A little bit of history for you. She was the ancient Greek personification of the earth and for all intents and purposes, the mother of everything beautiful in the world. Mm. Right. So us three? Hey. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. She born spontaneously, either out of nothingness or out of chaos. Gaia brought forth three children, Uranus, the sky, Aurea, the mountains, and Pontus, the sea. First, she lays with the oldest son, Uranus, and gave birth to 18 children. That's mm -hmm. where the 18 children came from, the Uranus. Wait a second. I don't know how y'all are going through and hear Uranus and not. Because <laughs> <laughs> I started pronouncing it as Uranus years ago. Uranus. Oh. Because I can't say Uranus. It's just like, maybe I'm just immature. Well, we got our giggles out when we, we were reading did. it earlier. It was that just that we, <laughs> that we needed to go yes. <laughs> The first 12 of them were the Titans, six females. I'm not gonna try to butcher their names, she just knew there were six females. And next she born three Cyclops. You get the picture. This lady was the mother of all mothers. She birthed here, there, and everywhere. I mean, I don't know. I've never really read into it like that, so I'm not up on the stuff, but every, every culture and religion has some mythology or something that they believe in and i feel like it had to come from somewhere although there are some great storytellers <laughs> this, i feel like yeah. the, like the, uh, the greek mythology and the roman mythology and all that is very good with storytelling mm. they have like all these gods and goddesses who fight for love this that is born out of you know this that and the third mm -hmm. and i think that they are very good storytellers i also do believe that there's some truth to it like we were looking up venus Mm -hmm. the goddess of what love and mm -hmm. all that and i didn't know that she was the uh, counterpart to aphrodite and i always knew it to be part of the the naming behind all the planets are actually words and people in greek mythology before science people used to probably question even more people still do question how everything started mm -hmm. so i think yeah. it was a great way to just put things into a story. I'm sure in other cultures or religions, it relates, it just has different names. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it, it relates, it just has different names and it's just a matter of your own perspective. So that's the end of our video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. The description of today's wine will be down below.
As always, we thank you for watching. Drink responsibly and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Sasuke with Tiff. Sophie had to make a mad dash. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to try wine today, but that's nothing other than usual. We always do wines. What's up, sippers? Welcome back to the channel. Hold on. Betty Ops. Can we do that again? One okay, more. One I'll more. Do one more. Three, two, one. What's, What's up, up, sippers? Shoot. I forgot I was supposed to say something, too.